Hello everyone, this is Max with Ewan Website Pro again with another tutorial. And this one is about big databases and how we can import them. Uh, many of you are aware of using PHP MyAdmin and using the import for that particular type of thing. I'll uh, show you what I'm trying to do. I have a database for this iCombine script that I wrote. And we need to be able to connect this database and so number one this database doesn't exist yet and the config file isn't configured but I want to draw your attention to this big dump you just go to, type in big dump to Google and then the guy has this uh, script to download uh, big dump and it's only 12 kilobytes and it's a zip archive okay once you download that to your computer what you want to do is navigate to the folder you know this is my HTML folder these are like different websites and in here you can see that I have the iCombine SQL and I also have the bigdump.php script okay now you want to open up this bigdump.php script okay and let me show you what's going on here number and when you open it up it looks like this you want to scroll down to about right here where it says database server you want to use localhost and put the name of your database notice I'm using iCombine and the username to your database and then finally the password to your database now whenever I'm importing large scripts I gotta come down here and edit one more thing when I'm importing large databases uh, this will be 300 lines uh, max query lines I made it to 300,000 otherwise it times out on me so that's why I, I do that. So <clears throat> now that you have that script, uh, let me go ahead and put uh, that information in there. I'm going to navigate to the localhost I combine and then big dump dot PHP, just like this. And you can see here. Uh, the database connections fail due to unknown database I combine. So, what we have to do is number one we have to set up that database and then we got to edit the config file on here so I'm going to start up my terminal here and uh, what we're going to do is see where we're going to log in as root just like that Whoop. let me see here s-u-d-u-s-u I misspelled it so I'm logged in as root here and what I'm going to do is type in my sql hyphen p and this will get me in the database. If I could type, there we go. I got to enter the, the database password right here. Okay. Now you can see that I got the MSQL command line. If I want to see the databases I have, I just type in show to databases. I have a hard time talking and typing at the same time. And you can see there that I do not have iCombine yet. So I want to create that database. Create database iCombine with a semicolon at the end. Okay, then I type show databases. And you can see that I have iCombine in there now. Okay, so now I have to edit the config file on the uh, script for, for this particular uh, application so it, it can connect if I hit refresh right here I'll show you what happens you can see that I have the uh, I could already start to import it because I put the uh, the information in but I'm not able to connect uh, to the regular website at this particular point in time because I need to enter the new uh, config information so anyway now that it found I combined on SQL it's going to we, we need to start import so we're going to click start the import okay and so there we go that was it uh, it took that quick and this wasn't a very big big database but we could see that it's there and to check to make sure that it imported all the tables what we want to do is check it use I combine that means it's going to use that particular database from all those databases Oh, let's see. Database has changed. So now I want to show tables. Okay. And those are the tables that I expected to see within that database. And that, my friends, is how you import um, a large database file into a server uh, whenever you can't do it with PHP MyAdmin. This is Maximus McCullough with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped somebody out.